As each believer functions with the gift given to each, Christ's body, the church, will be built up. Talking about church growth strategies, here it is. The gifts are never for self-edification, but for the edification of the whole body of believers. The concept that the ministry belongs to clergy is foreign to this context because every saint is given a gift. And every saint is involved in the ministry. Pastor, teachers need to inform and instruct believers, but the work of ministry does not stop there. It continues as these gifted individuals prepare all of the saints for the work of the ministry with the ultimate goal of building up the body of Christ. How does this church grow? What is the biblical plan for church growth? Gifted people equipping the saints who do the work of the ministry for the building up of the body of Christ. This is the church growth movement, right? This way. Mile wide. Half inch deep. What he's saying is this is growth this way. This is growth into the depths and the riches of Christ. This is the root of your life going deeper and deeper into the soil of the gospel. And it goes deeper and deeper into the soil of the gospel. Uh, the, the life of Christ flows in you and the, and the, 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 the gift of the Spirit, uh, the fruit of the Spirit becomes more evident and more obvious in your life. And, and you come under the influence of the Holy Spirit to a greater degree. And as you grow deeper and as the church grows deeper into the soil of the gospel, guess what can't happen? Help, and hap help but happen. There you go. We begin to grow like that. It's like a tree. We become a place where more people find shelter and rest in the gospel of Jesus Christ. A place where more people find the help that they desperately need. church growth strategy here is grow deeper in Christ by being equipped by those God has given us. I hope that you see clearly that Jesus gives gifts to the church for a purpose. The last question I have is simply this. Are you fulfilling your purpose in the church? Are you fulfilling your purpose?